Hey, what's happening, guys? I teased a couple days ago the idea of building a mass driver, which is another name for a coil GUN or a rail GUN. I know they're all different for our purposes. Electromagnetic propulsion. We can look at them as being similar. And here's mine. I bought this little kit off of Amazon because I wanted to see the circuit. And... I don't know how well you guys can see this. Let me move the camera and see if I can help you visualize this circuit board. Ready? Zoom in. It's some terminal strips with a transistor, current limiting resistor for the LEDs, a Zener diode to block the uh, uh, back voltage. Oh, back block back voltage yikes it's entered diode to keep the, the voltage from going above its set limit another diode to prevent backwash a toroidal transformer and hang on hang on big old capacitor 100 volt 1000 uh, microfarad for energy storage then on the top, we have the coil, we have this plastic barrel, and we have our projectile. So, the way this works, it's running on two AA batteries. Now, I'll show you all this, don't worry. Two AA batteries, this is the power switch. When you turn the power switch on, the transformer uh, ramps the three volts up to about 90 volts charges that capacitor and when you tap this button it's going to dump all that capacitive energy into that coil and it should fire that little projectile like this and it fires it at a pretty good rate too let's see if we can get another shot out of it and there they are they're about quarter inch Now, more like 3 16 by 3 8 So we load it into the breech here. It's not really a breech, it's just the back end. And when we press the button, this coil will get a huge chunk of voltage and current, which is, of course, power, make a very strong electromagnet and suck that projectile in. The key is to shut it off before it comes towards the other side or it's just going to bounce back and forth and make smoke. Oh, it's not charged up yet. It takes a few minutes to charge. This red LED is supposed to tell us when it charged, but I haven't been having a lot of luck with that. So here is our <clears throat> drawing of the reverse engineering of the circuit. And you see what we have here are two transformers wound on that uh, toroid, L1, L2, L3, L4. Then we have our LED1, LED2, our storage capacitor, our switch. So basically, close that switch there. It allows the circuit to charge. Charge builds up in the capacitor. When you close this switch, the capacitor drains through the coil and the bullet goes a firing projectile goes a firing now the ready led is started to work so i guess i just didn't let it charge long enough the fast first time ready for another shot three two one yeah it fires quite well we let it charge up again and spend just a couple minutes talking about the differences here between a rail gun and a coil gun. So this was our coil gun. It uses a single coil. And we'll kind of draw it like this. So we have a plastic tube in here 
through the center of that coil. And then here is our magnetic projectile. So when we put a high voltage there, we want to be as quick as possible that this giant magnetic field that is going to come to life around that coil is going to pull our projectile until it reaches the center. Then its momentum is going to carry it, but that magnet is going to pull it back again towards the center. So if we held it, this thing might go boing, 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 boing. We don't want to do that. We're going to burn out components. So that's a coil gun. That's a single coil gun. If we simply took that, took our tube, and wound multiple coils around it, yeah, there's our projectile again. There's our tube. There's our coils. Each one with a high voltage. That's supposed to be a lightning bolt, you know. And then if we were able to time it so we could fire this one, the projectile is drawn to about here. Then this one fires, the projectile is drawn to about, oh no, here. Then this one fires, and then this one fires. The easiest way to do that is with some sort of optical sensor. That's my shorthand for optical sensor. Because the time that it takes the projectile to travel from here to there is going to be longer than it takes to travel from here to here. Each one of these, so this will be the longest, this will be L minus 1, I don't know what these numbers are, but this will be L minus 2, and this will be L minus 3. Each one of those will get considerably shorter, so what you could do is when this one fires, this optical sensor triggers the next one, triggers the next one, triggers the next one, and so on. And they told a friend, and they told a friend. So that leaves us with the rail gun, which instead of having coils, has two... rails with each one of these hash marks is going to be a magnetic pole and then our projectile must be very closely fitting in here which might might even have a, a sabo on it and then each one of these poles or sections has to be fired in turn as it goes on and each one has to be on shorter and quicker than the last one and you could achieve orbital velocity doing that with enough power all right so we are charged up again there is a projectile loaded now here's the nice thing about this being a mass driver the projectile is the ferromagnetic. Here is a simple plastic bushing that I can put in here. Oh, it's going to fit. Is it going to fit? No, it's too big. One moment. So here is a sixth grader approved spitball, which we can tap into there. And our spitball will fire along with our projectile. Countdown. Three, two, one. Projectile and spitball both fired. So if you want to look inside here, I didn't put the lid on. Just sitting on there. We have a toggle switch here, which controls the power of the whole circuit. We have a momentary switch, and then we have... The connection for our coil coming through there and then all of our individual components 
are simply tacked onto these terminal strips. It's a pretty ingenious little way to do this. Now, that being said, I doubt this thing is dangerous. Let's let it charge and I'll shoot myself in the hand. But in the meantime, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you the kit. So here's the kit, and it is from MeOU, same one we did that other kit with a couple weeks ago. They are not a sponsor. I'm purchasing these with Patreon money. Thank you, Patreons. If you know a Patreon, thank them for helping out. If not, if you'd like to be a Patreon, there's a link down below, dollar a month. Help support the channel. So here's the kit. It is uh, $23 right now. Probably by the time you read this, it'll go up to $30 because that's just what happens. Here is what you get in the kit. You get a bunch of terminal pieces. You get your um, coil. You get the uh, capacitor. And you get your passive components and a really simple circuit board. You know, there's your end on view, top down, sidey side, sidey side. And there's the dad showing his young son how to build weapons of mass destruction. Tony Stark as a young boy. If you buy one of these, this particular picture here will come in extremely handy. Because while the, PD, the PDF that you can download is good and this is in there, you know, if you print it out, you don't have color or anything, just look at this picture, rely on it so you know how to hook up your transformer. and You'll be good to go. Okay, so it's charged. As you can tell by the red LED being lit. Projectile. hand let's see if we can adjust the view here one two three yeah it's not painful definitely don't want to shoot it at anybody's face though let's keep that in mind huh kids huh huh <laughs> all right guys i hope you enjoyed this oh and if you get the kit there will be some leftover parts. And no, those aren't the same leftover parts that you get every time you work on your car. These are actual leftover parts. They sent you an extra couple of LEDs, transistor, um, some screws, and some bushings. And I used everything, so yes, they are extras. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Couldn't buy fun stuff to play with without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.